Yo, it's your boy if you enjoy Dr. Back again with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to unlock the bootloader on the brand new Moto G5. So, um, before I begin, I'm just going to explain that doing this will void your warranty. So, I thought I'd just let you all know that. So, um, if you really want to go ahead and do it, just remember your warranty will be void. Another thing is, you'll need to back up all important pictures, files, phone numbers, whatever you've got on your internal storage because unlocking the bootloader will wipe the internal storage totally clean so i highly recommend connecting your g5 to your pc and dragging and dropping all your import important files onto your desktop um, because like i says doing this will void the warranty so anyway now that's out of the way we're just gonna i'm gonna take you through the steps so first things first you'll need to go into your settings so just pull down the notifications and go into your settings and scroll down to about phone then scroll down again to where it says build number and just keep tapping it till it says you are now a developer then hit the back button and then select developer options and where it says on here make sure that little green toggles on and where it says OEM unlocking allow the bootloader to be unlocked make sure that little green toggle is switched on as well Okay, so you can put the phone down for now and go back to the desktop. Okay, so next you'll need to head on to this website. The link will be in the description down below. This is where we're going to download the minimal ADV fastboot from. So just head on to the link in the description down below. Click on it and it will take you here. And then just scroll down. Where it says download version 1.4.2 here and then just click on it and then begin download click on that okay so now click on primary download and the download should then begin as you can see it's started down here in the bottom left hand corner once it's finished downloading it only takes a few seconds to download then go ahead and hit open select yes select next select i accept the agreement then hit next and by default it's going to save to your c drive So go ahead and hit next again, hit next and hit install, then select finish. Okay, so you can go ahead and close that down. You can also close down the window. Okay, so we're just going to check the location of where it's just installed to just double check to make sure it did really install there. So go to your C drive. And go to program files x86 because that's where it installs to by default and you should then see the folder there minimal adb and fastboot so we know that it's installed okay so next you'll need to open up your web browser so i'm using chrome and just type in motorola unlock bootloader enter okay and then scroll down to the second link open it up and then scroll down select next okay so you'll need to sign in here so if you don't already have a Motorola account, you can either create one or you can sign in with your Google Plus account. So I'm going to sign in with Google Plus. Okay, so now we're going to get loads of instructions. Some of them we can skip. So the first instruction here, install Android SDK, you can skip that option because we've, we've downloaded the minimal ADB. 
um, we're going to use that instead so the second set of instructions is to install the latest Motorola USB drivers on your desktop download here so if you've not already got the Motorola USB drivers installed so just click on this link and you can download them from there and install them you should already have them installed basically it's just to allow your phone to connect to your PC so I'm sure you've already got them installed because when you drag and drop your music files and pictures and stuff on your desktop um, you will have had them installed already but if not like I said you can just download them from here okay so the next step is next get your device ID so we're gonna get our device ID so put your device in fast boot mode power off and press the power and volume down buttons simultaneously so we're just gonna do that we're gonna put the device into fast boot mode but before we do that where it says fast boot OEM get unlock data just right click it and highlight it I mean left click sorry highlight it and then right click it and select copy and we're just going to copy that that code okay so now we're just going to put the device into fast boot mode so to do it just power off using the power button this button here on the side and now to put it into fast boot mode you're just going to press the volume down button along with the power button so just keep them both pressed down for a few seconds until the device then goes into fast boot mode you can put the device back down for now okay so we're gonna go to our minimal ADB so go back to your C drive program files x86 remember that's where we installed it there it is minimal ADB and fast boot okay so now we're just going to connect the phone to the USB cable so just plug that in and it should say connected if all is well okay now in a blank space we're just going to press shift and we're going to right click on our mouse so shift and right click and then it should bring up this box here saying open command window here and then you should see this little black box appear let's just expand it a bit so you can see okay it's not expanding okay so um now we're just going to paste that command what we copied into there fast boot oem get unlock data let's just focus so we've pasted it in there and then just hit enter on the keyboard and you should get a bunch of numbers pop up okay so now we're just gonna right click on those bunch of numbers and we're gonna select all and then hit enter okay so you can close that window down for now now we're gonna go to our notepad so right click down there in your start menu and hit search and then just type in notepad and then we're gonna paste those codes into there okay so what we're gonna do now is where it says bootloader down here on the left we're gonna ignore all that and we're just gonna copy the code 
So we're just going to copy all the code. So where it says bootloader, just ignore all that. Where it says unlock data, ignore all that. We're just going to copy the code, all the numbers. So let's just do that. Okay, it looks like we're still going to have to copy the bootloader part. Okay, so just highlight it all and copy. And then you can close that down. Don't save it. We're just going to open up another notepad. So just open up your notepad again. And then paste it all into there. And now we're just going to delete all the bootloader parts. And then select file, save as, and you can just you can just name it command. And then save it. Okay, it's not saving. Try again. Command. Okay, so it's saved there to my desktop. Okay, so just. Okay, so just go back to the instructions. Number four, the return string will be used to retrieve your unlock code. Blah de blah de blah. Okay, so we're just going to scroll down to option number six. Okay, and then go to your command. What you just um made on your notepad with all those numbers and just highlight the whole thing right click on it select copy go back to your instructions and like I said we're going to go to number six and we're just going to paste all those numbers into there okay so this part is very important now guys what we need to do is everywhere you see a space you need to delete the space so we don't want to leave any spaces so let's just check again there's another space there so delete all the spaces we don't want any spaces whatsoever There's another space there. Okay, I can't see any more spaces. Okay, so now just Go ahead and select can my device be unlocked. And then scroll down to where it says I agree. Select the little box and then select request unlock key. And then this box will pop up saying unless you have a developer option device this will void your warranty. Are you sure? Go ahead and select OK. And now 
Motorola will send you with your unlock code. So you should have received an email with your unlock key inside. The email is your unique 20 character alphanumeric code that you will use. So the Google Plus account was used to sign into the Motorola website earlier. You'll need to go to that email address and check for the unique unlock code. So I'm going to go to mine right now. And here it is, unlocking your device. Let's just click on it. And here's my unlock code. So just highlight it. Right click on it and copy it. And then please follow the instructions here to unlock your bootloader. So click on this link and it'll take you back onto Motorola's website. Okay, so now we need to go back to the command window. So back to the C drive. Program files x86, minimal ADB and fast boot. And once again, we're just going to find a blank space in there. And we're going to select shift and right click on the mouse and open command window here okay so now we're just going to type in fast boot space OEM space again unlock space again and then you're just going to paste the unique unlock code in there so it should look like this and then hit enter And it says, this command erases all user data bootloader. Please rerun this command to continue. Okay, so once again, just type in fast boot space OEM space unlock space and then paste the code in, hit enter. And your device should then reboot. And you should see this message saying bootloader is unlocked rebooting phone so now we're just going to have a look on the device i'm just going to hit start if, if yours doesn't say start there just use the volume down button and keep scrolling through so you see the start option and then hit the power button and as you can see your device has been unlocked and can't be trusted the bootloader is now unlocked on the brand new moto g5 so yeah this is how you unlock the bootloader on the g5 guys if you like this video and it helped you out be sure to give it a thumbs up leave any comments in the comment section down below if you get stuck with anything and thanks for watching it's your boy the android doctor see you in the next one. Oh yeah i'll be doing a root tutorial um either today or tomorrow as well showing you how to route the g5 as well so yeah thanks for watching guys i'm out deuces